Paragon Towers are absolutely amazing, don't get me wrong. But one of the problems I have with them is you can't buff them at all. You can't use villages or alchemists or basically anything and that makes it not as exciting and fun. So in today's video we've changed Paragon Towers to allow us to boost them and buff them. So we're going to do what every normal person does. We're going to God boost Paragon Towers. If you enjoyed and you want to see more of these types of videos, hit that like button, subscribe and turn on notifications. Without further ado, let's hop into the video. So one of the problems is we actually can't ultra boost them even though we've changed it ultra boosting still doesn't work on it but that's okay so we're going to the, the famous god boosting map where we can actually just destroy it and we're gonna start on round 60 instead so let's go ahead I want to god boost the first paragon tower first like the dart monkey so we're gonna level up get ultra juggernaut we have to also get plasma monkey fan club and then we also want to get Crossbow Master. And then we can turn this into the Apex Plasma Master. And for some reason, it actually doesn't do anything with these. So we can just sell these now. And it does look a little bit different. It doesn't look like an official Paragon Tower. But I can assure you, it is indeed an official Paragon Tower. Now, we only have $500,000 left. So I don't think we have actually enough money to be able to get all the boosts. But that's okay. We'll have to just get a little bit. Oh my gosh. He has, like, no range. Wait, wait. Well, that's okay, because, let's see. Rallying Roar. So, all nearby monkeys could pop plus one layer for a short time. Yeah, we definitely want him to be right here. So, we'll have Rallying Roar. So, that way, he's going to be able to roar, and he'll be able to attack way faster. We're going to want to get ourselves a Permabrew Alchemist, because Permabrew Alchemists are very nice. So, we can go ahead and get Permabrew. And then, we're also going to want to get ourselves a... A village villages are gonna be super nice and we can actually just start the round now because I mean bigger radius jungle drums and then homeland defense oh wait is this a primary monkey I'm very curious if I get primary training it does get primary training and so then we can also get uh, primary mentoring and so that's allowing this person to get all of these upgrades so it's already got like the village and the perma brew and a bunch of other things that makes it a way stronger tower but we're not done just yet because we need to god boost it we need to get a sun god temple all right it's not gonna be easy but we're gonna make it work do we want to make a little bit more money i actually think i do want to make some more money because i want to be able to get i want to god boost both towers this video i want to be able to get the glaive lord and this tower so let's just go ahead and i'm just gonna make a little bit of money here and we're just gonna go ahead and throw some of these down and help us out here and i really 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 want to see how powerful it's actually going to be that's why i told it to go all the way up to round like i mean i'll past round 100 getting past round 100 is gonna make it all so very awesome i don't think i'm allowed to use yeah i can't use any abilities which isn't really that uh, ideal. I can't put any banana farmers down, which is not, it's not that fun. We also got Pat Fusty here, which we're going to want Pat Fusty to get all the way down to like, I guess level 10. Wait, does rally, where does rallying roar? Rallying roar, increased radius and duration, increased damage for rallied, rallied monkeys. That's level 14. Is there anything else? No, so level 14 is basically the highest level that we need Pat Fusty to be because that's when his supporting ability becomes the most powerful. So let's go ahead. I'm going to put my super god monkey down here. We're going to level them up. And before we get a sun temple, we need to get $50,000 in support, which I think we can get from the XXL trap. Yeah, so we'll put this person down and then I'm going to go ahead and get the XXL trap. There we go. And if we need to, we can sell these. But all right. So there we go. Here's the first Sun Temple. And the Sun Temple is going to start getting us a little bit of money every round, which is only $5,000. We need to get more support towers. More support towers, I say. Let's go ahead. I guess, it, I mean, is it going to absorb? No, it looks like it might absorb these villages, but I mean, that's okay. I can always put the villages back down. We need to get like $500,000. So we do need to get a little bit more money here. We can sell these for 20,000 each. So that's 20,000, 40,000, 60,000, 80,000. So that sells for 120,000 total dollars. Let's actually upgrade one of them to the banana central. So that way it makes all the other banana farms make us even more money. And I guess we can just put down some more banana research facilities. What? Oh my gosh, bananas are everywhere. 
There's so many bananas. All right, now we want $50,000 in upgrades. So when we upgrade it, the next time to the True Sun God Temple, it's going to be max on the supporting tier. Because for those of you that don't know, when you upgrade into a Sun God Temple, whatever towers that you have down, whether it's primary, military, magic, or support, the Sun God will absorb that and make it stronger in that department. So if you have a whole bunch of magic down, well... That's when it puts down all the sun god temples and shoots those things. Military adds the planes that fly overhead. I'm not entirely sure what primary does, but I know support makes it so, well, it adds the sun god buff, as you can see right there, which increases attack range, increases damage. It's just probably one of the strongest upgrades that you can get, honestly. Like, realistically, it is super mega good. Wait, I think that's still not as good as I want it to be. I still want to get... Here, we can get that. I That's definitely enough money. Having all of that, that should be 50000 I'm going to put one more down just to be safe. There we go. That's definitely enough. So now all we got to do is save up $500,000 in order to be able to get that. This tower is already bonkers. Look at that. We're at round 77, and we're still just absolutely cruising along. I really want to see what's going to happen, though. That's the, always the best part of all of the videos, right? Is when you get to the very end where you get to see all your hard work pay off. Where you've put all this effort into seeing, well, what's going to happen when we get to God Boost a Paragon Monkey, right? How good is it really going to be? Now, it's definitely not going to be as strong as, like, the tier, you know, the tier 1000 Paragon Monkey that we did in yesterday's video. So, it's not going to be as good, but I still could see it being absolutely nutty. I want to see how fast it can take out this BAD. And then I want to swap it over to the Glaive and see what's better. Out of the two Paragon Towers so far, what do you think is your favorite? I probably think that this, this Paragon is the most fun. The Apex Plasma Master. It's like, I don't know, it just looks cool, it's satisfying, it's fun to play as. We need $500,000, by the way. So this sells for $100,000. We might be able to get it, but I'm just going to keep saving up on my money. So that way there's no worries because I also know that the other tower that I want to get is going to be like $400,000. This tower is also already made of $70,000. Like, look at how much money it's made compared to all of these. Because it makes you $5,000 every single round. All right, that's $300,000. We can definitely sell these all now. So I'm going to go ahead and just sell these because that's, yeah... Now we have plenty of money. We have $600,000. I'm going to upgrade this. Um, I'm actually going to sell... I can actually sell this village. And then I can sell this village too. And now I'm going to go ahead and get the tr this true sun god temple. And now we can put the village down right here. Bigger radius jungle drums. Primary training. Primary mentoring. And then we can get another village down which we can go ahead and get... No, I, I upgraded. I got the wrong thing. Wait, it's round 85. Why are we going up against a slow zone G on round 85? All right, whatever. I'm not, I'm not going to question it. Okay, does this person have? They do not. So we want to get super range. There we go. The dart monkey finally has it. There we go. Oh my gosh, look at the range. His range is absolutely crazy. He almost has global range. I mean, he pretty much does have global range. If he was right in the middle, he'd be able to hit every single spot on the map. That just goes to show how absolutely nutty this God Boosted Tower is. And then we can also use this Rallying Roar. So the Rallying Roar, and then we can also boost it too. Look at this. Look at how many boosts. Boosts. How many boost and boostos are on? What else can we add that could uh, make it attack faster? I don't think it allows you to ultra boost it. Let's find out. I want to just double check. Oh my gosh, the screen's going crazy. They're bouncing all over the place. Yeah, so unfortunately, you can't ultra boost them, which is a little bit sad, but you know what? This tower is so crazy strong. Anyways, I don't think it really matters. Look at all the look look at all the balls bouncing all over the place. That's so nutty. And we can also right here, we can also boost it. And then this just look at that. It literally is just like, I love watching how it like bounces all over the place and how fast it attacks. Once we get past round 100, I want to see this thing attack the BAD and then I want to swap to the Glaive. And then I want to see what a god boosted Glaive Dominus Dominius Da Mamudubudaba. I always try, I, after I pronounced it wrong, I'm scared to try to pronounce it. I'll be made fun of. 
You guys make fun of me for pronouncing things wrong. It's okay. I all for I forgive you guys. That's so crazy that last time when we were doing the tier 1000 and we got like 78 million pops in one round. I don't think this tower would be able to get 78 million pops in one round. That's for sure. Here, wait. I'm going to turn off auto start. Ready and boost. Wow, that annihilated that bad balloon. Absolutely annihilated it. So let's swap out and it's time for a new a new paragon tower so now this is going to be this paragon tower so we need the glaive lord and then we also want to get ourselves the perma charge and then we also need to put down and get this so now we can get the glaive dominus there we go and now we can sell the problem the one thing to keep in mind is this is no longer a primary tower so it doesn't get wait wait wait, wait. primary mentoring oh wait it is a primary tower what am i talking about ryan you're such a dummy all right, but we have are these all the buffs? They are all the buffs. Okay, and now we can go back to auto start What is the range? Oh my gosh His range is definitely not as crazy as the apex plasma master But it's still oh my wait look the boomerangs are staying like way way over there, too We're already around 102 here. Look we can boost this to make him attack even faster It just pushes back the balloons like instantly what is a stronger god boosted tower? I mean, I don't even see most of the balloons spawning right now So this tower is probably stronger when it's god boosted just because it attacks so fast and pushes back all of the moabs I accept the BADs. It doesn't push back BADs. At least I don't I don't think so I'm pretty sure you BADs can't be like moved or touched or bothered in any way shape or form BADs are immune to pretty much everything which I kind of agree with I think that BAD should be super duper strong Look at that, we're already at 1 million pops again in like 6 rounds. That just goes to show you how crazy the rounds get in balloons. Once you get past round 100, Ninja Kiwi's like, Alright, yeah, it's time for you to go. And they just send everything they got at you. Literally, like, they just send everything. Let's go! Another 1.3 million pops. What was my favorite god boosted? I would have to say that the Apex Plasma Master is probably more fun. But I don't know what's stronger because like this is cool But like you don't even get to see any of the balloons because he throws like one boomerang So you don't even get to see his ultimate power how awesome he can really be oh wait Oh look Pat Fusty just got max level look how happy Pat Fusty looks. I love this skin There we go. We're at still round 108. I feel like round 108 has been going on five ever Oh, there we go. See you complain and you shall receive okay? The hungry bird gets the worm. Oh, no, the noisy bird gets the worm. I don't know. Oh, here we go. Round 110. Let's go. Yeah, no, the god boosted paragon. And I think this is just a T1 paragon. Like, a, I don't think it has any special tiers about it, right? So I'm pretty sure this is the weakest possible paragon tower. But when you god boost it, it really doesn't matter. It becomes incredibly powerful. And I hope you all enjoyed today's video. If you did, make sure to hit that like button, subscribe, turn on notifications. You're all amazing. And I'll see you all tomorrow for some more awesome content. Bye everyone.